welcome to GeoScreen in this section and please remember to subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed you leave a comment you leave a like and even share to your friends right so in this section we are going to look on how to set an auto controlling ready for the mutation trading right so we are going to set the drawing right the one i'm having on my screen here i've created it using the polyline tools and even uh, some text and uh, some uh, right annotations here for the dimensions so maybe if i can just have to touch on this for the drawing i've used my polyline right i have a tutorial on that you can just check it on my youtube here getting started with autocad so you make your drawing using the uh, polyline right just like this and uh, maybe if for the case of subdivision i have some lines in between right so in case maybe i'm going to provide a six meter road so i have to offset this one three on both sides so you just click on this offset tool after you select the line and then it's three you type three then you enter it's just just like that right and then you extend these lines to touch the edges and then after that you can trim right and then you do only this one this one is subdivision it's part of subdivision so we make it uh, normally in red so you change the color and uh, for the plots right this is just what i've done we just uh, subdivide your plots as this right so simply that's what i've done to uh, arrive to the kind of drawing i'm having on my screen here these ones should be in red right so this is just what i've done to arrive on this so in this tutorial we are looking on how to set this drawing into a mutation right right we set it to be ready for printing into an ethery form right ethery paper right the mutation form as it is in ethery size so we are going to set our drawing to be ready for that printing right maybe if i can check on these uh, dimensions i have come up to this uh, point we do it by the annotation first and then this one the standard for the uh, dimension style so we check on that and then manage the damage styles i've done my modifications here for the lines you ensure that you check these boxes beams so maybe if you uncheck them this is what you are going to be having you are going to be having the dimensions with all these lines so we don't need these lines so we check these boxes and then um, finally this is what you are going to be having as we have here right so for the text maybe the text size i've set it as uh, size 3 if you set it to size 4 it will be uh, more big maybe in 5 this is what you are going to be having but we don't need to have that so we set it to 3 all right text size 3 okay and maybe for the primary units this one is the precision one decimal place and we have the suffix m for meters right and then we are ready to go we click ok and then we close so this is what we have for the dimensions we have that so uh the next thing we are going to look on how we can set this drawing into an a3 paper right that is going to enable us to print it on the mutation form all right so we are right now operating in the model workspace so to set our mutation uh to set our drawing ready for printing we are going to get to the layouts right so we have layout one this is what we are having this one is a paper you can see it as it's white so you prepare your drawing to be printed on a paper right so we understand that a mutation is in a3 size so we get to this uh, file right and then print then set up page set up okay we set our paper into an every size 
here we are going to select our printer first so we sh we are going to draw to print our drawing into a pdf all right so once we set it into a pdf it will be easy for us to transfer our drawing all right in pdf maybe you can have it in a flash in your phone and you can print it from wherever you are all right or else you can share it to your friend or yours who maybe is not having the autocad to print the drawing directly from autocad but with a pdf someone will be able to print it from wherever all right without using the, the autocad but just printing the pdf so we print our drawing into a pdf all right that one is for the printer stroke the plotter and then here we set the page size right it should be an a3 this one and we have it as landscape so we have that and for the scale right plot to scale scale i'm going to have 10 into 1 all right what does this mean 10 is to 1 10 millimeters into 1 all right this one is just a centimeter to a centimeter all right so our scale will be 1 is to 1 if we set 10 is to 1 we have in 10 millimeters here yeah? all right for one unit so it's one is to one one centimeter one centimeter all right one meter one meter all right so this is what we are having remember to set this one as to 10 is to one don't just put it fit to the paper but instead have 10 is to one and then after that you click ok so you have now set your paper this is an a3 paper all right so the next thing we need to bring in our drawing into this paper so to bring in your drawing you just have to key m v all right m v this one so it's m v you click on this and then you fit to the paper so this is what you have so we need to get this drawing and we set it to the right bench right for the scale drawing so we come to the center of the page this one so we have the right page and the left this one is for the scale page three and then this one is going to be taken by page two so we copy this and then uh, we paste it here right but we are going to prepare a drawing for this page but this one is for the page three uh, as you can see let's double click in here and then we try to uh, play around with the drawing in the paper but it's still as if we're in the model right so we can see here the drawing is on red subdivisions are on the red and continuous and they are measurements the normal that as uh, we are supposed to have it on the page three or else on the scale drawing right so we prepare and drawing for page two right so we are going to get back to model right and in the model we copy this we copy this and paste it here right so we have this one and uh, we do our with the measurements just select all this and then uh, we delete right because we are not supposed to be having uh, dimensions on page two or also on the sketch all right so we have all the dimensions deleted and then the next we are going to have our subdivision lines on red so to set that we need to create a layer which uh, should give us the uh, dotted lines so we tap in layer we tap in a layer and then you click on layer right and then you add a new layer here and it should be dotted right we name it as dotted the color should be in red and then the line type here we select the uh, hidden 5x here a dot and line and then we select this one as default for that layer right so we select all these lines the subdivision lines here 
and uh, we make sure that we assign them to the dotted layer right this one so once we assign them to that they are dotted as you can see so once we get back to the paper space then we double click in here and then we focus on this drawing here which is on page two right this one we have our lines uh, dotted and this is how they are supposed to be so we make sure that the lines are hidden right for that to be for, for them to be in dot and format so that's what we are and then uh, we double click so you need to understand that once you need to end it you are drawing while in the paper space you double click in and then you are able to access them the drawings as normally as it is on the model right if you need to get out of uh, paper space you don't just need to scroll if you scroll you'll never get out so you need to type p s right this one is for the paper space right so you click on ps and then you enter once you click on that and you enter you get back you find that you have exceeded the model and now you get back to the paper space all right so we have our drawing here so here maybe we can try to adjust our axis maybe because we are supposed to leave some space for the mutation form uh, introduction and the title heading right and then uh, you can even reduce from the bottom and uh, we have something like that so the next thing is uh, we need to provide the heading for our uh, drawing so maybe this one is a subdivision for a certain parcel of land so we are going to use the text and single line then we justify and we align right so we click on this right and then uh, let's set the uh, perpendiculars so we have it as maybe let's say it's conza so we have conza sub right stroke conza sub um maybe block five right that is within conza and then the parcel number let's assume it's a uh, parcel uh 300 right so this one this, this this stroke should be coming after the bracket so we have it as causes of causes of block 5 300 we need also to have the sheet number here for our map so we have we have sheet number let's assume that on is sheet number 19 right and then uh, the next thing is the scale all right so remember we have not set up so we click on the viewport this one the auto matching the viewport all right we click on that and then we get to the scales right click on this and then we set it as one is to one thousand so one is one thousand is abbreviated as one is to ten all right this one and then we have that so our scale is one is to one thousand we can still set this one as to one is to a thousand as well although it's not supposed to be in scale anyway but we set it to be uniform right so we have the scale we copy and then we paste this and then we end it scale one is to one thousand so uh Right now we have our drawing ready to be printed on a mutation form, right? So let me uncheck this and then I drag my stuff. 
So we can still copy this and the sheet number to the sketch side here. Right? We have it there. And then we are now ready to print. Right? But uh, before we print, maybe here we are supposed to be having some hamptons. So we have, uh, you have to indicate the neighboring numbers. So you indicate this person. You indicate this person, you indicate this person, you indicate this person. You can write them while in the model, or else you can just write them while you are here by double clicking, and then you get the text, right? Justify. I like, assume that this one is a uh, person uh, 229, right? You write it, and then you escape. You copy to this one, right? To this one and to this one as well right so you ensure that 229 we have it as our number is 300 so this one maybe assume it was 228 and this one was 227 right and then uh, this one maybe we assume it's uh, 226 right so after that, we need to exit the model to get back to the paper space. You just click on the PS, as I've said earlier, and then you click on this. So you are ready to exit. So you have, this, you have to indicate the same numbers to the other side. So you can just copy. See? You copy. You hold control C, right? And then you get to this. And then you paste right you paste them so we have our hand tools already now we can click on printing so when maybe we preview this is what we are going to be having right but trust me we will not need to have these munchies in our mutation so we have to make sure that these munchies will not have to be printed so we can escape, we get back to the uh, paper space. You check on this and you check on this. And then on the layer, we have a layer which is never printed. That is the depth points, right? So we set it as, we set it as depth points. If we can get back to the layers, by tapping the layer, we can look at depth points here. And uh, if we go to the printer, right, this one, can see that they are inactive so they are displayed but they will never be printed so you set your munchies into depth points and even whatever else that you may not need to print you set it to depth points and then you click on print and then you preview and this is what we have right maybe we assume that we no need to print this line we can still uh, check it and ensure that it is on dev point so layer dev point right and then uh, control z then you double click on z right and then you print so this is what we have right we have this line that we can double we can still uh, double click and then we select all layer we set it as dev point and then we double click here to get out of the paper space or else we click on ps and then we handle so we have exited now if we print you'll find that these lines are not shown in our printout because they are on dev point layer right as well as the margins right so these are mutation ready to be printed on our a3 mutation form page 2 page 3 as you can see we have the dotted lines we have the continuous lines we have the measurements so once you print this to a mutation form it will be ready right for the processing in the office so that's how you do the setting for the mutation from your drawing right to the paper so you just need to click on plot and then on desktop maybe we set it as we name it as mutation 300 
right? And it is a PDF, so we click on save, all right? And our, new, our drawing is exported and ready to be printed. Now you can see we have opened it in a PDF, so we can share this file to your friends or to whoever who is in need of printing it to the mutation, all right? So we have worked from the model to the layout and then we are ready to go to the paper, all right? We print it on our printer. And maybe if I can touch on something, in our printer, we've set it as a custom scale, all right? This one is a custom scale, right? These ones we have uh, here, there. It's a custom scale, right? So we need to ensure that in our printing, you select custom scale, all right, on your printer, or as you said, to none. That one will ensure that you are not going to be interfering with the scale that you've set up. One is to a thousand, all right? And that uh, will give you the drawing that is onto the scale. If you don't uh, select the custom scale or else you set the scale to none, then you'll have, you'll have to interfere with the scale and the mutation will not be uh, having the appropriate scale, right? So thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe, leave a comment, you leave a like, and even try to share this content to your friends and let us keep it. Cheers, Chris. Thank you.